What is up everybody, Ryder with Will here, and I have another dirt bike that I would like to review. This time I would like to do a first time impression, but first of all, a huge thank you to all of my buddies and people that are lending me their bikes for a quick test ride. This review is intended for, you know, the basic average weekend warrior riders as myself. I'm not really a good rider nor a talented one, so my review will reflect my experience and comfort level on a dirt bike. So here we have it, the KTM 250 EXEF. Not going to lie, I was considering buying one of these bikes in one point of time, but decided to skip on it because well, I thought the power was going to be similar of a KLX 250. Ah, I think it's so gutless. <laughs> I'm giving it full throttle. <laughs> Dude. But rest assured, the 250 EXEF has more than enough power for what the average rider needs. I was actually surprised how much power it had for a 250 and able to pull from second, third, and even fourth gear at a slow pace. So let's see how it does. I have it on third gear. Has definitely has plenty of run. I like it because it's it's very easy to ride. The throttle is very easy to ride. Almost like my KLX, but yet this thing has like so much more power. So I think I have it on third gear right now. Third gear is, is pretty nice. Fourth gear, I'm going to leave it on fourth gear right now. This has plenty of grunt to chug through. Unfortunately, I can't try hill climbs. So on fourth gear, it definitely has enough power and chug for, for fourth gear. It feels very nice. So here's the thing. The power delivery response is incredibly linear and has very good down low grunt, but also moves when you rev it up but not scary fast like a two-stroke once it's revved. <laughs> if you ever ridden a KLX 250, I would say it's just like that, but when you actually twist the throttle for more power, yeah, it's gonna give it to you. But at the same time, it's not like the DRZ where it also hits a bit hard early in the RPM range. See, the power curve is a bit different versus D the DRZ-E. And I think the KTM EXEF is much more forgiving on a blip of a throttle, yet also feels 20 times lighter. So I got the uh, EXEF 250. I could actually flat foot this guy too, that's nice. First thing I notice is yeah, the grunt is very controllable. 250 feels nice. I like it. Wow. It's definitely... This 250 feels very nice, very light. It feels like a two-stroke. Like, it handles, like, these little tiny, like, whoops. Really good. So, in my opinion, this bike can be perfect for a beginner. Or even an advanced rider who wants very accurate traction control. If that makes sense. The power is incredibly predictable and honestly, if I had to do this over again, I think I would have gotten the KTM EXEF 250 to start with instead of my KLX 250. Yeah, it's that beginner friendly, but don't let that fool you. This 250 packs a mean punch when you want power out of it, just in a controllable way. Not to mention, the stock forks is very comfortable and plush. See, I can like leave it in third gear and just let it chug. It's definitely a lot better. It's a little more plush. Suspensions are a little bit more plush, but you can tell this thing is meant for rock riding and stuff. It's meant for like enduro type riding. So another thing I would like to consider is the engine braking. This bike has some serious engine braking in first gear and probably much more than my KLX 250 or DRZ 400 or any of my bikes combined. See, personally, I do not like engine braking, but if you're someone who really likes controlled riding when going downhill and want to take it easy, I believe the engine braking will be a good and valuable thing for you guys. 
as I know how scary downhill can be. Wow, I just really like how easy it is to ride. It's like the throttle response is so linear. It was really nice and it just, it almost feels, feels like a two stroke, like weight wise. And it handles the whoops very nice. Yeah, this thing is wow. Yeah, it feels. It has a lot of front end to handle the 